Hey everyone, uh, I'm back on real-time narration, which means I'm narrating as I'm filming. I want to do the other type of narration, but I need a better mic, so this is just the way this video is going to be for now. Alright, we're going to start out with the peppers. These were all topped by the deer, and they're bouncing back. They're all new growing tips, all new branches. And the deer didn't eat the peppers, so the peppers are getting ginormous. Uh, these peppers are either Jimmy Nardello's or giant cayenne. Large cayenne? Large, thick cayenne. But you can see, I don't want to jostle the camera too much for you, but the plants are producing lots of peppers. That one's kind of spun itself in a cube. I know something. Bear with me as I shift the camera around. Now these are the pepper plants that the deer did not get into. And they're doing just as well. Lots of peppers everywhere. Again, it's the same two varieties. I will not know until I taste one. I did taste one earlier, so I kind of know what one's a Jimmy Nardello. I kind of popped one raw in my mouth. Probably shouldn't do that for uh, cayenne. But I wanted to show this. This is what happens when you have long peppers on a short plant. <laughs> They're all jammed into the ground. That's okay. Here we are at the, uh, what are these, super chilies. The super chili plants are just, they're, they're fantastic. Look at those peppers. Isn't that crazy? And they're still blooming. What is going on? Sorry. Shooting the camera around. I got five of these plants. They just keep going on and on. And that's either another cayenne plant. Really? What's going on? Oop. Just kind of picked that one on you. That's okay. Yeah, we'll kind of let that one go back in the compost pile. Here are the dark red kidney beans. Uh, the last time you saw these, actually not these, but in the last devastation video, the deer stripped all these down to sticks. In the center was the fence, which is now around the garden instead of in the garden. And instead of pole beans, I just did another row of uh, the dark red kidney beans here. Marigolds! I love marigolds! I don't know. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I love them. This guy hasn't been on film yet. This is my boot Jalukia plant, the biggest one I have. I gave my other ones away. Uh, he kind of grew like an umbrella. But that just seems to happen every time I grow a super hot pepper. They kind of just get up to their height and then fan out. So he's pretty stable. He's been out here for two days now. Lots and lots of flowers, so hopefully there's going to be some peppers. Alright, now for the big update, the tomatoes. <sighs> 30 plants. These little guys have been through a lot this year. Um, the deer attack. Obviously scarred a lot of them. But they bounced back. They're doing good. Um, well, most are doing good. What I've noticed is a, a bunch of my plants are getting what's called ferning. And this is all new growth. That's a brand new sucker. That's a deer attack. This is new. This is new. And this one's new. And what it is is a, uh, as best I can tell and as best as I can look up on the internet, is it's some sort of mosaic virus and it hit a lot of my plants so what can I do at this point they're either all infected or they're immune to it luckily I have a few plants that are immune to it all the new growth on this is fine I believe these are uh, if I didn't mix them up these are supposed to be big beef tomatoes you can tell this guy has it some plants are way worse than others, and that's all new growth. But if we go over here to my bush tomatoes, these are the husky cherry hybrids. 
they don't even care. They don't even know what it is. They may have the virus and they just don't care. But what's gonna happen is when tomato season is over, I gotta just get rid of these plants, throw them in the trash. I'm not even gonna compost them. I do cold compost and that's not enough to kill the virus. It gets very cold here in the winter, but it's still not enough. This is my tallest tomato plant. And it's doing okay. It has the virus, of course. Um, so I should get some tomatoes off it. But like I said, my bush, they're beautiful. So I'm gonna be growing more bush varieties. I did try to choose high, high disease resistant plants. But some of these, these are jet stars. You can see those are all damaged mosaic leaves. No yellowing yet, just yellowing on that one flower cluster right there. The rest are just, I don't know how the tomatoes are gonna turn out, but hopefully they're still edible. If they're not, this is just a giant waste of time. The mosaic really hit these plants over here the first, or the, the worst, the first, yeah. Um, but lots of bloom clusters. I think that one, this plant alone has five or seven, maybe even eight bloom clusters. But the leaves, it's, it's all mosaic virus. What can I do? Apparently it's all transmitted via aphids. So, yay aphids. Uh, jack wagons. But uh, what can you do? I'm out here every day looking for aphids. So basically what happens is the aphids pick up the disease on a weed and then they come over and then they infect that into your tomatoes. So your tomatoes have it. And then I come through and I squish the aphids and at the same time I mechanically pick up the virus and spread it along to other tomatoes. So, you know, that's fantastic. These are my two pepper plants for the, com or the uh, comparison videos. They're doing really good. So I'm still chewing on this one, even after the, uh, even after the uh, neem. But, you know, what can you do? It's still super healthy, lots and lots of peppers. I'm not gonna talk too much about those because that's my other video series. All right, but that's the uh, garden in a nutshell. I'm not really gonna talk about kale, but the kale came in fantastic as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks. Uh, uh, thanks for the comments in my last video. Uh, comments of support, I really appreciate it. We all know how disheartening it is when you start losing bits and pieces of your garden due to critters, viruses, and aphids. <laughs> Alright guys, take care.